Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I know that's a heck of a title where I put in there the carpet cleaner died. And I'm talking about finding and selling urine in the broad daylight. And I'm going to tell you the reason I put both those points in the title. Uh, number one is about the carpet cleaner. This customer calls in, all my routes are full, and the customer calls in the same day service. The realtors come and look at it, property manager, should I say, and uh, the carpet cleaner died. I don't even know who it is, but it's somebody in my area. So you local guys, Brian Adams and all you guys, Chris, Christopher King, Keith, any of y'all watching, Alex, please let me know if you know the carpet cleaner that died, and maybe we can help out the family in some way. Number two is, they said there was a pet there, and their pet, they think, went to urinate in there. And uh, they let me in, they had to leave, they went ahead and paid for in advance. But I want you to see how why I feel like that the truck mount forums UV light is the best UV light made. I mean, it's easy for me to make the statement, but I feel like for the money, the durability, it's nice and heavy, but still light, lightweight enough and small enough to stick inside your pocket. Extremely well built. We put lanyards on them so you can find them because these are leaving behind and stuff like that. But the real true test comes in going inside of a home in the broad daylight, not dimming the lights, and walking through and finding the urine. And so to put it to the test, I'm going to go ahead and do a live video. So everybody watching, I'll throw it up on YouTube, and we'll see if it's there. In the meantime, also, you know the trade show canceled on us twice now. And I'm hoping it's going to be in November. And I planned on bringing this big truck mount out there for sale. I want to let you know it is for sale. And since they have canceled a couple of times, I'm going to do a complete walk around video. I'm going to give you a quick glance right now and a couple of little brief explanations on it before I walk in. But remember, it's for sale and I'll just build another one because I'm looking forward to next year where it's going to be in Charleston, South Carolina. So that's really close to me and that's old, old school town right there. It's really nice and quaint. So if you can get out to Charleston, definitely make it for that. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look around. I'm going to grab this off of here. I'll walk you around the truck. And I'm going to walk inside this home and show you the amount of urine that's in there in the broad daylight. All right, let's take a look. So I'm going to flip this around. So hold tight. And if you don't know much about the Nissans, it's a great vehicle. This is completely loaded. All power windows. Everything like that. And you can see what I put up there. A little TMF emblem, which comes right off if you want to take it off. It's got storage area up in there. So I like that a lot. You notice I've got my TMF booties over there, shoe covers. And I've got a phone holder up there, which is really nice. Power steering, air conditioning. I always get every single option that's made. Also, these are just little um, emblems on here, which come right off if you need to take them off. They're just vinyl. And I only put them in one spot. I like going with the minimalistic look, as you can tell. But it's a beautiful truck. All right, so I'm going to walk you around it. And then we'll walk inside. Let's take a look. I did the same thing to the back. Wait for this truck to go by here. Yeah, that was noisy. That's all right. So anyway, you see it now. I'm going to open the door up here so you can take a little gander at it. See what I'm talking about. I love how the doors open up on these, right? I'm going to back it up first and get you a good little view of it. You can see I've got electric reel to the left, electric reel to the right. Also electric reels here on the floorboard. So you can see those. I've got TMF pounder. And I've still got plenty of room. I get up in here, probably five people inside of here. So it's a remarkable I'm out of room. I'm going to be treating, of course, the urine stains with Unchained. Notice I carry a couple bottles in the truck all the time. And I'll probably be using Black Label. It's just a great combo for that. The TMF wand, this holds two wands, but I took one out because one of the technicians wanted to, uh, he's having a little problem with his old wand, about five years old, and it had a little bit of leak on it, so I'm getting that fixed, and I took that one out of there. Got the safety door in here, in the place. You see the turbo hybrid, by the way, we saw all these things. It's really nice how this works. You just press the button, got them by the handle grip. So that way you just push the button, it's good to go. Same thing down here, push the button and she rewinds on your automatic. So then I put this um, thing up here to hold your spotters and stuff. Got Russian movers, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. I've got the Hydro Force holder over here. But like I was saying about these doors, all you do, click this in. Of course, it opens up like that, so that's kind of a cool feature. All right, so let's back it up here. Steering wheel's on the wrong side. Yes, it is, Andrew, compared to you guys, isn't it, my friend? It's on the wrong side. All right, let's open up and take a look. This has the ProFire dual wand unit in it. So you see as she opens up there. I'll stand back so you get a little better look at it. Notice how it's got the ProFire in there. It's got a dual filtration system. I put clear covers on it so I can see the dirt that's going inside there. I kind of like that. It's also got a um, 
two and a half inch port up there, two two inch ports here. That's direct for water damage or you want this monster suction, but it's already got monster suction and monster heat. So it's a beautiful machine. I like using the collapsible hoses. It's don't take up much space for fresh water and my dirty water pump out. Boom, I'm good to go. But overall, it's a gorgeous truck. So there you have a walk around. Just remember it is for sale. Let me just back up, get you a complete good look at it. There you go. So we're going to do a complete video. My son and I watch for it on YouTube coming up real soon and remember i love to build these things i'll build you one custom built just fly in here and drive away with it but let's take a look at it again from the back here so remember you got real real you got the, the machine back there it's a great machine it's all stainless steel we've been building them they're selling really well and people are very pleased with them i've got two electric reels down at the floorboard you can run dual wand systems i make custom shelves for the floors and on the sides of the walls it's very easy access then i also make custom shelves for the doors I'm thinking about even putting a plate right here and maybe a plate on the other side and you can hang more things. But gosh, I've already got plenty of room and plenty of stuff in there. I don't know what else to put in this thing, you know? She's pretty doggone full to say the least. So I love it. 250 foot of hose, 250 foot of hose. You can get more solution on there if you wanted to. All right. And of course, you know, the one more look at the machine. Remember, it's a 60 horsepower Kubota, liquid cooled, fuel injected. It's a great engine. It is a engine that has been, see the profile name up in there? There you go. And it lights up red when you go to start it, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it too much in the daytime. Yeah, you see a little bit of red in there, see there? But at nighttime, man, she is sweet. No doubt about it. It's got your little gauge here. It tells you anything that's going wrong with it. It's very simple, very great design. It's been being used for a long time. Your chemical meter, your automatic injection to cool the blower, extremely high lift on these machines, the temperature. And you very seldom run this thing over more than one or two, you know. Uh, but sometimes you're running in three if you're running dual one. It's about the only time you need it. Of course, you got your drain over there, and I put a quick disconnect on it so you can go. Uh, so there you go. That's it in a nutshell. I'm going to walk you around now, and I'm going to show you how good the truck mount forums UV light works, okay? All right? Because like I said, it's one thing to say it, but it's a whole other thing to back it up, right? So let's go ahead. Walk into this home. This is an empty house. They've already left. You can see they got their pod out here. Walk around here. Yeah, pod, you get free advertisement. Uh-huh. So there you go. We're going to walk inside here. and I'm going to take you a walk through it. But that's a great machine. You know, I'm going to turn it around and let you look at it one more time from the street. I really love the Nissans. Excuse me. They just had a tree cut down, so can't see it 100% well from here. I'll give you another look when I walk back outside. But let's go ahead and walk inside. Here we are. The broad daylight. And we're going to walk up the steps. This is an old home, and maybe they had an old carpet cleaner. That's how the old carpet cleaner died, sad to say. So here you got the stairs. And I checked the stairs, and the stairs look fine. As you can see, the UV light going through here. Look how far it goes. You know, there's all across the whole room. Good 20 feet so, right? Looking on the wall there. Something brightening up, so you see how good it works. But now, let's take a look around here on the carpet. There you go. Starting to see the urine stains already. See them there? Here we go. There's a bunch there. And look how much this thing lights up. And I'm now a good 10 feet away from these urine stains. Look how clear they are in the daytime. Look over this area over here. Good Lord. I'm standing very far back so you can get a really good look at it. Look at all those. And look right now. You see nothing. And well, you see one urine stain she didn't clean up. She said, you know, there's one urine stain up there. That's just the one they didn't clean up. But they don't realize if you come up here and see this, boom, look at that urine all over the place and you see how it kind of lights up purple and blue in there i don't actually see that in here all i'm seeing is the urine stains but you know the camera always picks up something a little bit different than the naked eye it's nowhere as good as the naked eye and if you notice some of them are real bright and then some of them are dull to me that's where they've treated them see how bright the one is off to the right how dull the one is over there that's because to me that's they've treated it all right see how bright that one is over there so you can see, here we go, I even found some more. Mm. So there's plenty of urine in here. The shades are open, the sun's shining in bright, but yet I can pick up all this urine. Look at that, a ton of urine. So, you know, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna talk to talk, you gotta be able to walk to walk, and that's what this light does, and that's what we do, okay? Whoops, there's some more over there, and there. And look, I'm standing a good 15 feet away, and you can still see these urine stains, right? I don't know what that is. Straight line. That's kind of odd. Unless the dog peed in a straight line. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you back out, show you the truck again in a minute. Here's lights on in here, but there's nothing up there. I already looked inside the little walk-ins. I didn't see anything. However, I did see something right down in here. There we go. Yep, picked up some more urine. 
man, this place is covered in urine. So what I'm basically doing is I'll flip this back around in a second. But see all the urine in this place? I want to stand back really far. See if I can reach this at 25 feet out there. Yeah, you can see it. I'm about 25 feet away from those urine stains. So what I like is I like to be able to walk through a home quickly and efficiently with the customer. I want to be able to just grab my urine light, have it in my pocket. I don't ever, ever ask, Mrs. Jones, would you like me to uh, get my urine light and show you the urine? Because guess what they're going to say? Uh, probably not, Rob. Okay. It's called the Truck Mount Forums V3, which is now the V4, just so you know. We updated it about three or four months ago, made it even a little bit stronger. I'll put it in here, Muhammad. I'll have my son put it in here so you can find it easily and quickly. I'll put it in the OP at the top. All right, so let me tell you what, man. This light will make you thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. Easily, I charge them $200 for the urine alone here. What do you got? Two areas, okay? So I'm charging them $200 for the carpets, $200 for the urine. That's $400. I just paid for the $189 light. One job. Come on. These guys going out and buying these little machines. So look up look up the other competing lights. Look up uh, the TMF light versus so many other lights. And just, just a huge difference. Don't have to buy batteries. I got vape batteries in this, so you can go out and get your batteries easily. Plus, on top of it, I keep all the parts in stock, Muhammad. So if you need a switch, you need a lens, you need an LED, I've got it all in stock. You don't have to wait for it. Because we all, both, all know that as the cleaners, downtime is what? It's a killer. We don't have time for downtime, okay? We need to make money. We need to pay our bills, and we want to make profit, right? That's what it all boils down to, okay? We're in business to feed our families, make as much money as possible, treat the community fairly and honestly, and cover ourselves. Because like I told this customer, and, I, and I'm going I'm to tell you again, I don't know if I've ever mentioned a video for him. Let's go ahead and just mention it real quick, okay? All right. Yes, $400, two areas. I charge him $200 to clean it. Okay, with that much urine, I'm going to charge them that much and then 200 for the urine. I don't feel bad about that at all. Okay, uh, th that's the beauty of America. And plus, I've been in business for 40 years. I have the highest amount and the highest amount of reviews in the seven city district. Why is that? Because I treat people honest and fair and I do great work. And if you just notice, there's about 20 urine stains in here. Plus, so what am I going to have to do, Jose? I'm going to have to go out there and probably use a gallon or so of Unchained. I'm going to come in and spray each and every one of them. If you haven't seen my urine video, type in urine, truck mount forums on YouTube and watch it. It really goes into detail. But here's something that I don't even mention in that video. I always try to give something a little bit educational back to the industry. And that's the advantage of going with us. When you work with us, a small company, we're very service oriented and we really care about your business. We're not some big monster corporation selling your chemicals that are all diluted down and do a bad job. Instead, these are products I use in my own five truck operation every single day, and I guarantee them 100%. If you're not happy with them, I'll just give you your money back, and you can keep the product, okay? I don't want your money. I want you to, I, I mean, I want the profits. Don't get me wrong. I can't say that, but I would like to have you as a lifetime client and somebody who enjoys our products and somebody who uses them on a regular basis like my own company. All right, so here's the point I was going to give you that I have not given to other people most times. Remember, urine goes in. A lot of you guys know this. This is what I tell the, uh, an empty home. Urine goes in as an acid, right? And then 24 to 48 hours later, it converts into a salt, all right, an alkaline salt. So what I let the customer know, this is Mrs. Jones, when I come in here and I go to clean the carpets, right, and I add moisture to those salts, it'll off-gas and start to smell, and guess who they're going to blame? They're going to blame you or they're going to blame me, and then you're going to blame me. So I'm not going to take responsibility for it. I'm going to have to record this in here. So listen, now I want to charge that money too. You can, man. There's no doubt about it. And you should. You should be getting paid for your expertise. What's $400? They're going to get a $2,000 deposit back. All right? So there's nothing wrong with that. Charge them accordingly because you don't want to have to come back and spend more time. So you want to treat it properly. So I tell them, Mrs. Jones, if it off gases and you have a problem, it's going to cost you more for me to come back. So you might as well go ahead and get it treated right the first time. And they generally say, okay, that's a good idea. And if you look up my urine truck mount forums video on YouTube, you'll see that I offer three different stages, okay? And this client chose their stage, all right? So they can choose the stage instead of you, one, two, or three. That way you're not held responsible for it. How can I get the same product, the best products on the market? Go to tmfshop.net and you'll see our products. I'll walk you back out there and show it to you. But one more glance here, guys, at how good this urine light is. Look at that. Man, this place is just loaded with pee, isn't it? And like I said, you can't see that purplish circle. All I'm seeing is the light. Uh, all I'm seeing is the urine off uh, fluorescent. That's all I'm seeing, okay? So on the camera, though, it picks up different things. That's the same thing with polyester carpets. And this is a polyester. Polyester has a tendency, 
when you take pictures of it, it shows up very differently, doesn't it? Than it actually does when, let me walk down these steps. This is not easy. Walking down a set of stairs while I'm on camera. Same time. Yikes. And here's a little trend a lot of people are doing. Even though this is an older home, a lot of people are doing their hardwood floors and they're putting carpets from upstairs the rest of the way, okay? How do you get the same product? I'm going to show you right now, my friend. I'm going to walk you back out here. Show everybody this. And I'll walk towards the truck. And you can kind of see it. This is the truck here. Hopefully I'm not being too shaky because I am walking. Somebody tell me what the name of the light is. It's the TMF Truck Mount Forums. It's right there, my friend, Muhammad. How about right there? How's that help you? Get it real close. There you go. Truckmountforums.com light. All you do is go to tmfshop.net to get one. So here's the machine one more time in the van. It's all for sale. It's got about 7,000 miles on it. So I've broken it all in. She's perfect condition, top to bottom. You can just fly in here and drive this bad boy away, man. And be dual wanded immediately. Remember, it's got the 60 horsepower Kubota engine in there. Dual wand setup, dual filtration, inline filters. You don't have to go inside your waste tank and clean it out. And uh, I use the collapsible hoses to save space. You walk around on the back door, you can see I put up a hydroforce. And I like what Jonathan Singh said earlier. I noticed, I think Jonathan's the one who put the, the metal plates on his back doors. As his car goes by, I'll show you. But I might do the same thing. I might put those metal plates up, Jonathan. I like your idea. Put another one up here and run it from here on up i could put a lot of stuff but i don't know what else to put jonathan except like you said maybe a hand sprayer i've got it sitting in a little crate here these crates are removable but uh, i will be using somebody asked me uh, this is what i'll be using it's unchained let me pop this out of here so you can get a good look at it and i'll be using black label i'll go ahead and spray each and every urine stain first of all with the unchained and then i'm going to mix in a little bit with the pre-spray with the black label, the place is gonna be smelling great, looking great, and the customer's gonna love it. So, and also, it comes with the shelf from the factory here. I've got pesticides in here because I'm, I do pest control. And uh, so I have that on hand. I've got leather cleaner up here, our red remover, filtration line remover, rust remover, kick acid, something for the tires, and a little more pest control products up here also. Keep that in mind. I also keep my super gel right there and my pig over here. So we have all that stuff. It's in stock, so keep that in mind. We saw all those products right there, and we appreciate it. My safety door's up here. I'll pop that out, pull it right out, put it in the doorway entrance. I like to hang my tools from the braces that we have above, and these things are solid, man. I mean, I can hang from that and do a pull-up. So watch for a complete video. I'll explain everything, all the details about it. Yes, I am selling the van and the equipment. Jermaine, I was trying to hold out until the trade show, but since the trade show has fell by the way a couple times, I'll back it up here and give you another view of it from the back. See how nice this thing is. It's loaded. Like I said, it has every option you think of. It's got these reels are 100%. You see, you've got the grab bar over here. I put my switch here. So let's push the button. And there she goes. I got that on both sides. So you can work dual wand, one on each side. Put a wand on both sides. And then I've got dual solution electric reels on both sides as you can see i made custom shelves this was such a fun thing to build i can't wait to build another one i might build the next one in a mercedes i cut a three three part shelf and i cut it here so i put one piece there one piece down there and one piece across the other side to be able to hold all my products so and then i keep my stair tool right over here but i really like jonathan's idea of putting that plate i might just build a plate there and unless somebody buys it ahead of time another plate here and i probably got what this is about what two feet across probably about four feet so i've got two two by four sections right there that i can hang a lot of stuff that's actually not a bad idea is it so jonathan i might just do that my friend and it comes completely loaded it's just turnkey fly in here and drive this bad boy away and you will have a dream machine i want to tell you what this thing has been a dream to drive and use i love this machine don't forget as i said before you got plenty of storage up above there i love the storage areas the tank backs up to the seat, but you still got plenty of space to work with, so I like that. These are just vinyl stickers that come right off. Watch my door here. Got a car driving by, so I see a truck. And so just hold one second. It's gonna be a little noisy. How you doing, bud? Uh, we have TMF shoe covers. Don't forget that. I keep my gloves up here. I like the console so I can open and close the console whenever I need or want it. Oh yeah, we're by a base, so you're gonna hear a plane or two, right? Cruise control backup camera you know especially has everything so i like that cup holders 
power power doors, power, power windows, power locks, air conditioning. She's just a beautiful dream truck to drive, to own, and cleans like a cleans like a, a beast, no doubt about it. It's just a beautiful truck. I love it. I actually love the Nissans because they're so well built. And a lot of the other cheaper vans, the domestic Euro vans, what they've done, unfortunately, is they've really cheapened them. And you can get inside, touch the inside of the walls, and when you touch the walls, they'll ding. Good Lord. You spend thirty, forty thousand dollars for a truck. The last thing you want to do is ding. Plus, their transmissions aren't holding up very well. But the transmissions are holding up really well on the Nissans. I've got four Nissans and one Ford, and I wouldn't trade anything for my Nissans. I love them, just love them. So that's all I can say about them. But this is a great machine. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Just watch for a video coming soon. Crank this bad boy over. It's just really quiet compared to. There she is, an idol right there. You can see. I've got the red LED lights in there to light up real nice at nighttime. Plenty of room still. That's quiet and idle as you can see right there. That's 60 horsepower Kubota. I mean a serious engine. It is a beast. Crank it up one more higher here for you. There she is running it low. And I'll tell you, you can clean it low. Even with low, there's a ton of vacuum. You'd be surprised how much the vacuum is even in low. All right. So you have three speeds, you have idle, first, second, and third, even though it doesn't go up any further than what those numbers are, but that's the dial. I love having a dial. You have to pull nothing like that. Just turn the dial and she's good to go. So there you have it in a nutshell, the TMF truck mount forums. This is the Pro Fire. We also make the Starfire and a 1-1. One -one. I have not mentioned the price, Jermaine. I'm still thinking about that, but uh, I'll put it inside of here afterwards. How about that? Just remember the fact, guys, nobody has more five-star reviews than we do online for selling things, okay? We have over 4,000 independent, by the way, independent review company, has over 5,000 five-star reviews, and that's on our chemicals, our truck mounts, our parts, and tools. And the big thing is about it is I'm a carpet cleaner too, so I understand what it's like to have downtime. I understand what it's like to have low quality and I'm all about quality. So, uh, and I stand behind everything hundred percent. So if you're not happy, I'm not happy. I'm going to go that extra mile and make sure that you're happy. So whatever it takes to keep, keep you that way, you can always access me, even though, you know, I've got the YouTube channel, I've got the uh, Facebook group, the fan page, I've got, uh, the TMF Academy, uh, actual, the truck mount forums, right? Itself, truckmountforums.com with millions of posts. I still make myself accessible to be able to help people to grow their business because unlike a large company, I want to be accessible and I understand how important it is to be successful. And my success depends on your success because I'm always going to say this. I believe in the law, the law of reciprocity. And I believe if I make you happy by building great equipment, by offering great trucks, by offering great tools, by offering great uh, chemistry, it's going to change your life. And when you change your life, it's a good possibility it's going to change my life. So we're just a, a family company. My son and I started this thing from nothing about 13 years ago. Oh, by the way, don't forget, it's going to be our 13th anniversary coming up here real soon. So for that, we're going to be giving a, a couple of wands away and some of these UV lights. So watch for that. If you're not part of our private group or our truckmountforums.com, please make sure you get part of it because we're going to be giving lights away. We're going to be giving wands away. We love to give back because people have been generous to us. So we like to be generous to you. And we like to make a contribution. And no offense to the other companies, the big companies, stuff like that, but what contribution do they make? When cleaners are down on their luck, uh, they've had natural disasters, or they've had trucks that have burned up, or they've had thefts, my son and our company have been quick to help people. Sometimes we've given them, and I, don't, I really don't want to say much what we do because I don't want to be bragging. We also give to autism and stuff like that. So we're busy behind the scenes helping cleaners to grow their business and help them when they're in dire straits. So keep that in mind. That's our contribution to the industry along with all the knowledge that we bring and the information on a consistent basis. Well, I hope to see you at a trade show. I hope you want to come here. You can check out our location. Hold on. Remember, I'm right by a base and here's a Navy helicopter. It's a beast. Good Lord, that thing's a monster. So we'll let that cross over. Some people call that the sound of freedom. That is a monster. Jeez. So anyway, uh, let you know, you can always come to our TMF location. I offer ride-alongs. I don't know much longer because I just turned 60, so I might not be riding along with very much longer with people. I'm 
try to get out and play some golf and my son runs the, the company most of the time but I love it it's a great passion of mine so I'm here on a regular basis anyway I've gotten winded and I've spoken long enough uh, I'm Rob Allen with Truck Mount Farms. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy our products. And if you have any questions, any problems, any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out either on the forum, on YouTube, or Facebook. Take care, everyone. Have a great day and be safe. Oh, by the way, be safe. That's what our new mask said. Go to TMF emblem on it and be safe. So you can get these and pick these up. Actually, it says we care. Excuse me. We care. So that's kind of a nice touch. If you want these, they're going to be available in the store. And you can go ahead and keep these pop it right up, walk into a house and stuff like that. All right, take care now. Be good.